We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Rim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with him. Um, there's my smokes. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugglers battle the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Second down in a very long. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Oh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and six. Oh, sure, now we 
catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays have been bowling. Second down and more than the QB would like. Mistakes here just kicked the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> This is a first and low. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Now, this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Yeah, and now his mouth is where his foot was, on the ground. First down in a mile. The offense is pre- And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down in a mile. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down in. The punter is warming up. That's a big gain run on that. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. 
Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and, well, good luck. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down and a very lot. down and the punter is warming up that's a killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he got it off that's a decent punt First and ten. And he picks up two yards on the catch. And that'll be second and eight to go. Red ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Of his day, he might want to try hurling those traps next time. Boom! First and four. your brain and this is your brain on berserker drug now the offense is getting kills this is really a violent game guys someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle and it's first and ten Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and, well, good luck. Pass 
Jackson catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Third down and long. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Cooked. The ball carrier comes down! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Huh? And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. Second down in a lot. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. First down and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get... And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. 
Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and five. Kimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He had it for a second there. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just the regular knuckles. Huh? and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up the... It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up with soil and beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff, deadlocked in a tie game. Bricks, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say a tire iron in your face. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! run for five yards second down and five functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the iq of a rutabaga after that hit and it's first and ten they're taking what the defense has given them that's a four-yard gain on the reception hey less than a wipe for the headache Second down and six. <laughs> Third down and 
Well, good luck. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And he, and he breaks away. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, he's at the 30. The 20. He's at the... Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. <laughs> First down and seven. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog thing, Snake. Boom! And it's first and ten. He took a beast... Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. <laughs> for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and five. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. This should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> you gotta be 
kidding me? My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The ten. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Chris. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you talking about... No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the mutant farm league. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. First and two. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downer's guy than a speed feed. He's running from his team, it's clear. Okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putt. Chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. in his pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. And it's first and goal here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and seven. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey.
And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. No. As expected, Thunder pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Point, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Rick. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. chunk of yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And that defender just got cut in half. And he's off to the rounds. That's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room and he misses that extra point oh well, look at clown shoes down there is he wearing actual clown shoes i think so it's probably why he missed let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And 
It's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Oh, ho, ho. that gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. It's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for us. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I got to take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. Third down and three. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Red, did I kill him? No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down and seven. And that's a run for no gain. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a time out into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return in. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and long. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that. The offense is looking for a miracle comeback, but for that to happen, they'll need to pick up this first down. I need a miracle every day, Grim. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 
And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. The White can secure the win, and now these Wolves are going to party. I uh, think I'm a werewolf cheerleader once. Let me tell you, Grandma, there's no such thing as safe sex with a werewolf. See this guy here? That ain't no tattoo. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I have wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...